Hi, my name's Claire Howard. A big, huge welcome to my Slim and Well vlogs. Today is Sunday and that means it is a roast dinner day. Roast dinner, I say? Yes, you absolutely can enjoy a huge Sunday roast on Slim and Well Plan. Hi, welcome. I'm Claire Howard. If you've been here before, welcome to my vlogs. As you will know if you have been here before and if you've looked at the playlist you're watching, I am following the Slim and Well Plan. And I'm just sharing my slimmer world journey and the different foods and things that I find along the way that I enjoy and help me stay on track. I am a busy working mum of two boys, so life is pretty chaotic. We're also renovating a house at the moment, so we're all upside down and it's a busy life. So when you're following my slim and well plan, it's kind of the how to get through slim and well in the easiest way possible and fitting it in with a busy life as well. Today, I've been out all day with the kids and I've come home, but I really, really fancied a roast dinner. So I've just popped in Sainsbury's and got the stuff and I'm making a roast. I've just put my pork joint in the air fryer. It looks like it's gonna take a bit longer than I was hoping it was gonna take. I was hoping it was gonna be one of those click your fingers ready in 20 minutes jobs in the air fryer. But anyway, that is in. I'm gonna prep my veg and stuff. I'm probably gonna take the dogs for a walk while I'm waiting for that. But I just wanted to run you through what we are having with our roast. So I love a Sunday roast dinner and we're coming into that autumn winter stage where for me a roast on a Sunday is essential. We currently don't have a dining table and stuff which kind of ruins my image of that nice cosy Sunday dinner up the table but hey ho we're still going to have Sunday dinner. So to go with my Sunday dinner I've just got some veggies, got my cabbage which is feed and then I've got carrots and I'm going to do some roast parsnips in my air fryer. They are just free food, they're not speed food but that's all good. I got some mashed potato in Sainsbury's, pre-made mash. Because also what you might know is that I currently don't have an oven and hobs. A pre-made mash just makes it a bit easier. I'll do my braised potatoes in the air fryer, but it's nice to have this made. It's nice to have two types of potatoes. So this mash is a 400 gram, and I'm pretty sure, I'll pop it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure that said two and a half sins for the full serving. So that's quite good. I picked it up. How cute is this? I've never seen this before. I needed some gravy powder. Pigs in blankets flavour gravy granules. So I thought that'd go quite nicely with my roast pork. And this is, oh my goodness, I've literally just looked these things on before I came on. I should write them down. One simper level tablespoon. I will double check that and put that on the screen. But I'm ready, totally willing to give up a few sins for gravy because I love gravy on my roast dinner. And I'm excited to try this one. Pick some blankets. Why don't they do pork gravy? Like you get meat gravy, which I feel kind of is more beefy flavor. You get chicken gravy, but you don't get a pork gravy. Well, I've never seen it. Have you seen pork gravy? No, I've seen pork stock cubes. Or well, someone put a ham stock cube in something the other day. It's making some sort of well gravy. And I was like, that's so cool. I've never actually thought of buying ham stock cubes. I wouldn't have related that to pork for some reason. I've also got some stuffing. We don't have Yorkshire puddings today. Usually I do the boys Yorkshire puddings or Mark Yorkshire puddings. Um, I haven't got any today. We're gonna to have stuffing balls. Now this is, and I'm gonna to have to weigh it when I make it. Again, my mind has gone blank, but I believe it was two and a half sins for 50 grams of this made. I don't know how much 50 grams is gonna be, whether that's gonna get me a very good ball or not, but I'm gonna weigh it, make it, weigh it out, and then make my balls again. I'll make these and then put them in the air fryer. So that will be delicious. And that is my roast dinner plans. I've got some frozen veg. Um, I quite like quite a lot of different variety of veg for my roast dinner. So I've got some other veg in the mi uh, microwave, in the freezer that I will probably get out and add to this dinner as well. And I will show you my finished result. Also intrigued, this is the first time I've cooked a pork joint in the air fryer, so I'm gonna show you how that turns out. I'm hoping it's not gonna turn out with beautiful crispy crackling on top that's gonna to make me wanna reach it, but I'm not gonna. I will give it to Mark and the kids. Let's get on with chopping the veg. So that is how much you're going to get for your 50 gram ball, which is two and a half sins, did we say? Yeah. 
So as you can make that into a ball, it's not a huge ball, average size ball. And depending on how you've used your sims for the day, you can choose to have one or two. So I'm just gonna peel and prep my roast potatoes. I would leave the skin on, but the boys definitely won't eat them with the skin on. So I am taking the skin off. I've got my microwave pot here. They're gonna go in the microwave to parboil before I pop them into the air fryer. Obviously, I think people always think that things that are roast dinner are things that aren't gonna be available to you when you go on a diet or when you go on Slim and Wild. But a lot of the stuff that is included in a roast is all sin free and free foods. If you think that all your vegetables will be either speed or free food, your potatoes speed or free food, your meat is speed or free food if cooked correctly. So the main thing is actually in the cooking of these things. For instance, these roast potatoes are going to go in the microwave, they're going to get sprayed in fry light and then they are going to um, sprayed in fry light, tossed in some salt and pepper and they'll go in the air fryer. Obviously, in a traditional roast, generally you're going to pop these in a tray of fat or oil, and that is where your sins would come from in these. So it is just more a case of altering the way that you're preparing and cooking the food as opposed to changing the food that you are actually eating. Also, we want to make note that we want to have a lot of speed food on our plate. With Slim and World, there is a lot of free food and there's a lot of things you can eat, but if you were just to eat the free food without incorporating some speed food into your diet, then you're not going to get that weight loss because your speed food is food that is going to, it's lower in calories and higher in fill and power. So it's just going to satisfy you for longer and not give you as many, um, in effect, calories in that portion. So if you can try and aim to have at least sort of three quarters to half of your plate full of speed food at every meal, that is going to help accelerate your weight loss. So when preparing and cooking a dinner such as a Sunday roast, as I've just mentioned, a lot of the food that's on your plate is free and speed food. So your veggies, all free and speed. Your meat, free. Your potatoes, free. You can have all of those yummy things without having to think about it that much. We're going to add some sins for our gravy, but not a whole lot of not a whole lot of sins really. And there are alternatives that you can make sin free gravies. Um, I haven't really tried these. I did try one with xanthan gum, but I decided I would rather have a few sins that goes on my gravy than that. It tastes much better. So where are the sins in our roast dinner? Because traditionally you would kind of count it as quite a high sin, quite a luxury meal. So the sins can come from things like our stuffing balls, our Yorkshire puddings, our mashed potato, if you're gonna be putting butter in that are roast potatoes and parsnips and carrots if they're roast in fat or oil. Those are all areas where you're going to get your sins from. So when you're doing a roast, you don't have to miss out on those things. Here are a selection of accompaniments that you might want to have with your roast dinner. They have a sin value. <coughs> Excuse my cough. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't use them or shouldn't have them. If you save your sins throughout the day, you've got 15 sins. You could use all of those 15 sins on this roast dinner. So if you want to have some apple sauce, have it. If you want to have Yorkshire pudding, work out what you want the most. Do you want to have a glass of wine with your dinner or would you rather spend those nine sins or whatever it is on your glass of wine on your meal and have a really nice meal that you're going to enjoy? You can do your roast dinner 100% sin free. It can be meat, vegetables, potatoes, not cooked in fat and oil and with a sin free gravy. That is your choice. All you need to know is that you can have a roast and you can have that roast exactly as you want it. You just need to plan and figure out what can go in it and work your daily allowance around that. So my allowance that I've worked out for this one, my treats that I'm having with this roast are gravy and a stuffing ball, maybe two. Haven't had any other sins today. In fact, I haven't had much. I've only had a couple of boiled eggs for breakfast. Um, yeah, and I've been out, went out for a drink earlier, but I had two diet cokes, so I've literally had nothing today. I'm actually really, really hungry. I'm just snacking on blueberries as I'm getting ready to eat this because I, I was out with the kids and we went to the range and Smiths and stuff, and I was starting to get a bit hangry. I was like, I need to get home now, and I need to get that dinner on. I knew I had a good hour and a half, two hour wait before dinner. So anyway, I'm gonna get on with cooking up because I'm starving. Not that that's gonna cook my meat any quicker. If I get on with it, I'll stop filming. But yeah, that's it. My veg are all in my new vegetable steamer. I am loving that. As opposed to last week when I forgot how I'd done it before without an oven and I was trying to put pot after pot into the microwave and keep everything hot. It'll make it much easier this week. 
You can easily fill up on a roast dinner with loads and loads of veg, can't you? Yeah, it's got more cooking. By the way, how good is this pork looking? Oh, it's so yummy. There was only huge bits left in Sainsbury's. I would have got a smaller bit. It wasn't going to take me so long to cook, but never mind. Just come out for a little doggy walk. Here they are. I am that person that you see getting dragged down the road by two dogs. Alfie's like 11 now. You would think he would know not to pull, but no, we have this battle every time we come out. Anyway, getting my steps in and a bit of body magic while that pork's cooking. Just thought I'd check in and see how you guys have been getting on this weekend. If you've had a good weekend, good week, good way day, drop your results. Don't forget to let me know how you get on. So drop your results in the comments and um, we can have a chat, see how you're getting on and catch up because that's the whole point, isn't it? You'll congratulate me. So I'd like to be able to congratulate you back. So yeah, finishing up today. Um, we've got a nice roast dinner when I get home. We've just been out this morning with the boys. We had a chill out morning this morning, done a bit of housework, a couple of lines of washing because it's been such beautiful weather today. It's just gorgeous. Look at the sun coming through there. Lovely. Um, so yeah, just went and caught up with Mark, had a little look to see what was going on at the house. So I have a new house update video coming soon. That's got two weeks worth of building work and updates to go. So it's looking really exciting there. It's great to go and see all the massive changes because it is like significantly changing every time we go and have a look now which is amazing actually looks like we're getting somewhere and then me and the boys just went and met my mum and dad at um pub with a lovely beer garden sat outside had a couple of diet cokes the boys went over to the park where there's some conker trees and i've now got a huge pile of conkers filling up the the central section of my car which is great. From now on, I'll be finding conkers everywhere and collecting pocketfuls of them everywhere we go. But it's good fun. I love, love a bit of conker collecting. And yeah, so home. Oh no, then we went out. Um, the boys both needed new trainers and Joshua needed tracksuit bottoms because all they've got is shorts. Even though at the moment, the weather is way... The weather is way pleasant enough to wear shorts. You know that that time is going to come any day now where... It's really not going to be a shortest day. So just went to stock them up on a couple of bits and they wanted to go in the range, look at Halloween stuff, look at the Christmas stuff. I mean, it's in full flow, isn't it now? I do actually really enjoy this time of year. I love the summer, I love the warmth and this weather and stuff is lovely. But this side of winter coming up to Christmas, I love it. I love the build up to Christmas, love Halloween, love bonfire, night. And then we get into January, February. That's when I don't like it so much. But I'm feeling pretty inspired at the moment. Um, I've had a good week food wise so I am hoping for a loss again this week which will keep me well down in that 11s bracket yeah that's yeah that's today and this week so I'm gonna go home finish that race dinner and enjoy so my potatoes are now parboiled I just done them for seven minutes in the microwave I'm gonna drain them in my blender and give them a spray with some garlic fry light. Plenty of that. Then I'm going to salt and pepper them. And then, now I'm going to go in the air fryer for around 25 minutes. I'm also going to pop my parsnips in the air fryer. <laughs> and that is them on. We're going to turn on my vegetables. So I've just taken my potatoes and parsnips out of the air fryer. Um, my stuffing balls are going in. They are my two weighed and measured ones on top. I am just painting up my roast way past the time I hoped it would be, but I just wanted to come and speak about this. These little bits of crackling, which would once upon a time be in my mouth before they even thought about getting near the plate. So the kids, Mark, they love a bit of crackling. I love a bit of crackling. So the only thing I'm gonna say to you in this situation, when you are tempted, little bite-sized bit like this that you want to sneak in, 
just debate what you want more. It doesn't matter. Like sometimes we think if we eat something in the kitchen and no one sees us, it doesn't count. Guilty of that. But it does count. So weigh up what you want more. I could so easily munch on this. I'm telling you now, crackling is one of my favorite things. I want to lose weight this week. So I'm being honest with myself. I'm being honest with you guys. I am not going to eat it. <sighs> Pains me to say that. I'm not going to. Now I'm going to chop it up for the kids and mark. But anyway, if you are a bit gross like me and you struggle with chicken skin, pork crackling, just have that conversation with yourself before it goes in your mouth. Because once you get past that bit, you're all good. You won't miss it. You won't miss it on your plate. It's those things that we pick and snack that aren't on our plate. Sort of, um, the kind of add up what's on your plate, but you don't add up what you're eating in the process. And if you are like me, I do pick a lot when I'm cooking. So picking on things like crackling is a no go. There are no amount of sins allowance that are going to allow for you to eat this. Um, a similar world consultant who did happen to be a vegetarian, I guess, once said to me, you're never going to never gonna lose weight eating someone else's fat. It's a bit gross, but it's very true. Just a bit of food for thought there. Finally, my pork is cooked and it is time to dish up. I've got to tell you, the air fried pork was absolutely amazing. It was so tender and soft, totally yummy. So as you can see, we like a big plated up roast. There's loads of fresh veggies on there and it's really, really, yummy my roast dinner in total came to nine sins the sins being for the gravy stuffing balls and the pre-made mashed potatoes the rest of the food on there is all speed and free food a totally delicious sunday roast i hope you've had a fabulous weekend guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe to see future uploads and slimmer world vlogs